Well, I think it's working now. Had a camera malfunction. I just did all of this and it stopped recording after two seconds. So now it's up to 15 seconds and it's recording. So anyway, what I did is I had from the first video in the series, I had this in bleach water. And since I was doing this and I had some other bird bones to be bleached, I put those in the bleach water. I took them out of the bleach water and they're being rinsed in plain clean water with no other chemicals or anything and I'm just taking them out of this and putting them in this container here which has some paper towel on the bottom to soak up any moisture and help them dry quicker and I was explaining how this animal here that these little bones are from was a raven that I got it's in one of the other videos being collected as roadkill and that was last spring that animal was collected. Now what I do with these little bones like this is I make jewelry I make pendants and earrings now these little vertebrae bones will be perfect for making earrings or even a string necklace and you can probably see, and I'll do a close-up in a minute that these bones are not white and that was purposeful I don't like whitening my bones because it makes them more brittle now what I am going to do with these ones and it will lighten them a bit is I'm going to put them where the cats can't get them, but put them in the window sill or in the greenhouse you see there is still a bit of a yellow tint to these now they are completely clean, but where bone is a porous material, some of the the staining will stay on them for a while. But it does fade out. That is a completely clean bone, even though it looks kind of dirty. It's completely sanitized. Now what's going to happen with these bones after they dry off here, is I'm going to put them in a hot water bath with some laundry soap. I used to use shampoo, but it, I find it's better to use laundry soap now. It has The reason I use laundry soap instead of shampoo now is because I like a strong, stronger scent. And it's not that these smell, but they do have an organic scent to them, like a dirt smell, like just plain dirt. And I think a lot of it is just because like, it is organic matter, so it's going to smell organic and some people don't like to have an organic natural scent to things so I scent them and the scent it, it does fade but it doesn't go back to its organic smell because I've had my skulls up on the wall I use those with strongly scented body wash and it's been years since they were done and although the perfumey scent is gone they still they smell I guess you could say clean, even though the organic smell smells clean, but anyway, I just like to add scent to them. You can do that if you like, but you don't have to. But these are all of the little bones, and I'll show you the next step when these are dried. So this is the end of part two of cleaning and sanitizing bones.